The LSU women's basketball team won their first NCAA national championship title, defeating the University of Iowa. Congratulations, of course, yes. However, there was some controversy and division after player Angel Reese was criticized for trash-talking Iowa player Caitlin Clark and using the you can't see me to excuse me, I'm wrestling here, but anyway, but they were using the you can't see me to by that was made famously by wrestler John Cena here. No, don't do that, please. I, you know, I, know, I know you, I saw you do that. Don't do that, all right? I ain't doing that because, you know, apparently no one complained when Clark made that same gesture in the past, but what do you make of this double or triple standard of that sportsmanship here? Well, if no one complains when a male team does it, or, you know, a male athlete does it, I don't think anyone should complain if a female athlete does it. So I do think it's a double standard. Could you play the clip of what Ray said here? Because you maybe you'll get an idea of what it says. Listen to this. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I mean, all year I was critiqued about who I was. Nobody... I don't, yeah, 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 the narrative, I don't fit the narrative. I don't fit in the box that y'all want me to be in. I'm too hood, I'm too ghetto. Y'all told me that all year. But when other people do it, y'all don't say nothing. So this was for the girls that look like me, that gonna, that's gonna speak up on what they, they believe in. It's unapologetically you. And that's what I did it for tonight. This was for the more, than, it, was, it was just bigger than me tonight. It was bigger than me. Twitter is gonna go in a rage every time. And I mean, I'm, I'm happy. I feel like I've grown, helped grow women's basketball this year. I'm super happy and excited. So I'm looking forward to celebrating in the next season. Loved it. Mm -hmm. I thought she gave a really nice speech. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I mean, listen, she, she is a great player. But, the, you know, the thing is, we got, she has to be mindful of certain things. Because I want to bring up, you know, because... As the winning, because you know the winning team traditionally gets invited to the White House to celebrate, but First Lady Jill Biden said she would like to invite both teams who made it to the final round, and Angel Reese wasn't too thrilled about it here, because I, you know, but take a look and listen to this, and you'll see what we mean. Question for you: Are you going to the White House? We're gonna see. How does that feel? knowing that that's never been done. And in this situation, now there's an exception possibly being made. I just know if the roles were reversed, it wouldn't be the same. If we were to lose, we would not be getting invited to the White House. And I remember she made a comment about both teams should be invited because it would be the, it was sportsmanship. And I'm like, are you saying that because of what I did? And what, like that stuff like that, it, it bothers me because you are a woman at the end of the day, mm -hmm. white, black, Mex it doesn't matter. You're a woman, you're supposed to be standing behind us before anything. So. It's hard to see things like that and not to comment back on it. But at the same time, like I have the platform right now where I can speak out and a lot of people have had my back through it. So yeah. I'm proud to be in a situation like this and nobody's giving her grace right now. You can't go back on certain things that you, you say. I mean, you felt like they, they should have came because of sportsmanship, right? They can have that spot. Like, we'll go to the Obamas. We'll, we'll, we'll see, <laughs> I'm going to see Michelle. The, I'm going to see Barack. Oh. <laughs> the level of pettiness is something to idolize mm -hmm. but yeah I, I loved it I, 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 I love I, it she's, I like, she's ballsy <laughs> I like the fact that she mentioned the Obamas but but Reese you gotta be mindful of what you just of your words here because you know words can hurt sometimes because obviously you should obviously you should have just been like professional and nice but you didn't have to be so rude about you know like about rejecting the invitation of, you know, the White House invite. I mean, you could have just, you know, accepted it and moved forward and just, you know, like, let it go. I mean, you don't be so selective here, basically, is what I'm saying here. But you are a great player, but just letting you know, no, we're not mad at you at all. Just we're telling you to be mindful of your words and your actions and everything He's else. He's telling you. I'm saying and I agree with what you said, and the, only the winning team should have been invited. Well if, well, if both teams get invited, then I have no problem with that. But, you know, it's like they deserve it because it's teamwork and that makes the dream work. And I, and I know that's what First Lady Dr. Jill Biden was trying to say. I'm like, 
I don't know if they're against the Bidens when they're, they're doing the best they can here, but it's like they're not giving a chance. I don't know why here, but uh, uh, oh, okay, okay, I see you here, all right? We'll be right back. Caitlin, can you tell us uh, at the end of the game what happened? There's a lot blown up on Twitter about Angel Reese following you around, pointing to her ring finger and taunting you. Honestly, I have no idea. I was just trying to get to the handshake line and shake hands and, you know, be grateful that my team was in that position. Um, you know, that's all you can do is, you know, hold your head high, be proud of what you did, and, you know, all the credit in the world to LSU. You know, they were tremendous. They they deserve it. Um, they had a tremendous season. Kim Mulkey coached them so, so well. Um, you know, she's one of the best basketball coaches of all time, um, and it shows. And uh, she only said really kind things to me in the handshake line, so I'm very grateful for that, too. But um, honestly, I have no idea. And uh, I was just trying to, you know, spend the last few moments on the court with especially the five people that I've started 93 games with um, and relishing every second of that.